everybody. Rex Brunk with Superior Cleaning Equipment here and uh, we're going to show you a quick tour of our one of our newest wash racks. It's a two-in-one wash rack with a heavy solids pre-wash component to it as well as a hot water. Five gallons a minute, 3,000 psi on the hot water side. 25 gallon a minute at 500 psi on the other side. Basically what happens is the equipment comes on this pad, the heavy solids and dirt are knocked off with a 25 gallon a minute at 500 psi water blaster we call it, by water maze. And then we go over to a hot water wand, five gallons a minute at 3000 psi, 200 degrees, 240 degrees by Landa, it's a model ENG. Wash pad here, we've got kind of flows in to a clean out pit. That clean out pit then comes in, flows into a three stage baffle fiberglass interceptor. And then from there, we take it out in the third compartment two ways. One, the water blaster unit right here. This is that 25 gallon a minute at 500 psi machine. NEMA cabinet, UDOR pump, nice piece of equipment, and uses recycled water so it does not go through the rest of the system. So if you want to build a separate wash pad that's just a pre-wash pad, you can do that without having to buy a bunch of expensive equipment. You do need, however, to baffle it or have some sort of separation for the solids before it gets there. And from there, we're going into a 150 gallon comb bottom tank, which then goes into a compact coagulation unit. And that's a chemical coagulation unit that aids in separation of emulsification. In other words, if you've got some soaps, if you've got some emulsified products, it chemically treats that water and then breaks that emulsification going into that tank and then coming out on the indexing paper filter. One of the things I like about the Water Maze indexing paper filter is besides how wide it is, um, it's automatically indexing. In other words, float drops when the paper binds over only and then moves forward, unlike some other models and manufacturers. Then we got a couple of 500 gallon comb bottom tanks. This pad right now is uncovered. It will be covered shortly. And, uh, but still, in Arizona, in California, Southern California, and other areas, Nevada, New Mexico, we've got some sun, so we always use everything in black UV poly. From here, what we do is we take in these two 500 gallon tanks and we aerate these. We put microbes and, and uh, aeration stones, bio bags in these tanks here with this PM1000, and that runs air hoses and airlines in there, constantly treating that water and aerating it. That way, we got no odor and we're eating the oils with the microbes. Microbes are available uh, by us. We have our own private line of microbes as well as chemicals and detergents. Then from there, it goes into the recycle module. And this recycle module, you've seen that before in some of our other videos. It's got an infeed pump, transfer pump, circulation pump. It's got an ozone generator on it. Um, it also has the ability to uh, control the floats. It has flow control for these other tanks. So the system adds water when it needs it and it discharges water when it's overfilling. There's your ozone generator. You can see how nice it's laid out. English, Spanish, French labeling, NEMA boxes. All, all of the water-based equipment is all epoxy powder coat big thing. And over here, we have our Landa ENG 5 gallon a minute at 3,000 PSI unit. Natural gas, in this case has the ability to have wireless remote control or wired remote control out on the, pa on the uh, pad there. Nice kind of a, of a, of a uh, narrow cabinet, nice footprint. Again, all of this equipment's UL certified. Uh, in this case, the 1776 specs, and the water maze is a different spec. I don't have it off the top of my head, but it's all UL equipment. Very nice. You can see all the plumbing that we do here is all Schedule 80 PVC with Unistrut. A lot of dealers will use Schedule 40 or they'll paint the Schedule 40 pipe where we'll come in there, we use all Schedule 80. It's more expensive, about one and a half to two times, but it makes for a nice installation. That's the pressure tank for the uh, transfer pump. It pumps the water back to the pressure washer. Thanks for taking time to watch one of our videos again here at Superior Cleaning Equipment and this closed loop wash rack. Closed loop wash racks are great for not only protecting the environment, conserving water, those are the biggest issues, but what gets overlooked a lot of times is how, how productive they are for the business. Guys can come on here, 
they can get stuff washed before they work on it, and whether you're a rental yard or heavy equipment or golf and turf or whatever, cleaning and washing is an important part of the process, and uh, we want to help you with yours. So give us a call. Thank you.